Okay. Uh, let's see what are the dates. As you can see here, um, 570 was done on February 12th to March 5th of this year. Um, and then the next one was July, June 11 to July 12, uh, which is already passed and also done. And the last one is October 15 to November 5. So this three weeks window, once you select, you apply for uh, to attend this exam, they will ask you which slot you want to attend. So once you select a slot, that slot is fixed. You cannot change it. If you want to change it, that means it's rescheduling. Uh, so it's as good as failing the exam. So be careful when you're selecting the slots. And the deadline is August 13, which is already passed. Because it's a day long exam, I suggest that you, when you book it, you book at least four months in advance. Uh, and then the minute uh, what happens is you create an account for yourself. I'll explain here what will happen. So if you apply here, if you press apply and you go to ICP portal, so you would uh, create an account for yourself. I've already created an account, so you can see uh, my account here, right? And then you can put in your certification, your application, and your personal profile, your education history, and your employment history. Uh, and the prerequisite is a combination of education and employment history. And then uh, you pay the fees, you provide two references, and you would, uh, once you pay the fees, they will send you an email saying that your fees has gone through. So they are going to process your application. They will send you the reference to uh, emails to your references, and they have to, it just, just takes them 30 seconds really to uh, verify that your experience. And once that's that done, they will send you an email authorization with a link to um, a Prometric Test Center. Now, Prometric Test Center uh, holds the exam on their behalf. Uh, and uh, as soon as you receive your email authorization, please uh, select a slot at your favorite test center. You can do it in person, or that means you can walk in at the date time of the exam, or you can do remote proctoring. That means you can do it from the comfort of your office or your uh, home. 